Yo, 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 um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway from Verso, they watched that last video. So if you want to enter it, I'll probably just pick someone at random next week. It's to win a RCBO consumer unit with surge protection and whatever. Uh, just comment Verso down below. Verso, I've got a YouTube channel, go and subscribe on there, follow them on Instagram, whatever. But yeah, comment Verso down below and I'll just pick someone at random next week or use a generator or whatever it is. If you're not an electrician, it's probably no use to you, but if you are an electrician, there you go. Um, what we're doing today, working at Salford Reds Rugby Stadium, changing some lights and stuff, just a bit of maintenance, some emergency lights, some emergency spots. Instead of rambling on right now, I'm gonna head straight. I feel like I'm missing some of here. Oh yeah, I am missing some of it. If you want Verso stuff, this month only, there's a one-time discount code on uh, a website called Alert Electrical and the discount code is VERSO15 and it's just one time use and it's just this month so if you do want any consumer units or you want to try them out go over there and buy some, I think they deliver nationwide I'm going to head over there and I'll show you what we're doing and show you where we're working and all that thanks for tuning in yo, so here we are at the job as you can see behind me it's a nice big huge rugby stadium so what we're going to be doing is just pretty much just replacing loads of different lights i think i've already said that in the intro um as you can see it's called aj bell stadium now it used to be called just salford red stadium i think now this as going off the logo it's a shared stadium between salford reds and sale sharks whoever they are um, and we're going to be working in this section here, up and down, that's the gym. So that's pretty much where we're working, the whole place in the gym. So what I'm going to do is unload all my gear now. Unload all my tools, whatever, light fittings and stuff like that. I'm waiting for a delivery as well for a high bay light. And once I've done that, I'll take you in um, and I'll show you what we're doing pretty much. It's a nice easy job really, but I'll show you. Yeah. 
not quite thought this job out have I? Um, decided I was going to film here, got permission before we started and all that. Yeah, all fine, no problem. It's a gym in it. It's just music just blaring and I'm not, I can't film with music on because we get in trouble for copyright and all that. So, what I'm going to do, I think we've got some stuff in the changing rooms um, that's got no speakers in so we should be alright to film in there. Oh, the gym floor is just blaring with music so I'll put a silent clip in. You might have already seen it, I don't know where I'm going to place that. So I've changed that high bay light to a new one, but I've just took it back down because it was way too bright, like it was it was mental, it was well bright. So we're gonna find a different solution and I'll come back for that. So what I've done is I've just kept the, took the chain, I'll keep the chain and the Greg plug and lead, uh, the Greg plug and cover. We call them a Greg. Um, I think they, well no, I think the real name is a Click Rose or something, but that's not made by, that's not click Hague or whatever that's just a generic one so it's a greg anyway so hopefully i do apologize like i said i didn't really think this one through i just uh thought yeah filming in the gym that'll be great but music and when i say music i mean it is blaring i'm not complaining but i'm a bit gutted about the video so anywhere there's music it's going to be silent and i'll probably have to put annotations or I'll do this after it or before it and tell you what you're looking at Sorry about that. Right, I'm hoping you can't hear that music. There's none on in here. But if so, then this video is completely pointless. So, we've got some of these little LED emergency spots to change. They're not working. The reason we know they're not working is because they should have a green dot like that. There's a couple. Hello. And there's one there. I think there's two in this. This is the men's changing rooms. Then we've got a couple to change in the women's. Obviously, I'll make sure no one's in there before I go in. So yeah, I'm gonna get above these ceilings. I'm assuming they'll still be on a, a click plug um, and start swapping these out. I think we've got nine all together to change in the building. Obviously, I think there's, let's say there's two in here. Distribution's board there, but if they're on a click plug, I can safely isolate it just by unplugging it. So. I'll do that because I can't really turn many lights off in this place anyway because it's open. Right, so up here above the ceiling, this job's turning into a right epic failure. So we've changed the gym floor light, the big LED, uh, high bay, too bright, different colour, measurable fail. Now we're in the toilets. That's an emergency Greg plug, that's why it's red. Um, so it turns out this little spot isn't a separate fitting at all. I've never seen them separate like that. I've seen the ones where you just drill a little tiny pinhole. But I've never seen them ones where it's like a full fitting. I assumed it was just another, it was one of them sat on top, separate to this, but no. The whole fitting's the emergency with the battery pack and that's the bit that's gone. So I need to try and find something that'll suit that. Now, I'm getting to a point where I might not even upload this video, but I'll still do it because of the first old giveaway. So we have still got other stuff to do. I need to change uh, some twin spot uh, emergency fittings, the ones that look like a frog. So I'll change them. But again, it's out there where there's loads of music. So I'm going to have to do it silently. It's like watching a Charlie Chaplin film this. All right, welcome to the ladies. So these ones, this one and this one, just wanted the bulbs changing. Um, so I'm going to do that and show you them. They're the old style fluorescents, look. They've either both gone or one's gone a lot of the time. If one of them's not right, the other one doesn't work anyway. So I'm going to take this down and I'll uh, show you how to change a light bulb. Because there's not much else I can do here. I'm trying to get a good shot here of how to change a light bulb in an IP65 twin fluorescent doo doo don't drop this little screws because they, they seem to just bounce off and land in like hell or something and you never find them again. Get rid of them flies, eh? See that, that bulb probably looks fine. Let's try the new ones. Uh, 
there's one. Like I said, with these style of fittings, let me just uh, bring you up here and have a look. Usually with these style, if there's one in and not the other one, then they won't work, so. And there you go. That's that easy, easy. There are the old ones, get rid of them. And there's a couple more where the lights are not on, so I'm just gonna obviously try the bulbs first before I change them to new fittings, because obviously save the client some pennies. Um, and I'll have to have a, a look for the same fitting where they've got the built-in pin spot. If this video goes up, please comment below if you know anything uh, what would fit them. I think we've got a um, 180 mil cutout, and the spot is like uh, 40 mil, and it's all all in one fitting. So if you know of anything, comment it below. It could be a great help. Um, I might have already found anything by the time you've uh, seen this video, but you never know. Well, that was an epic fail of a job on it. I don't know how I didn't clock on to this before I uh, started filming the whole job. Uh, gym, music and all that. But yeah, hopefully I can piece together an half decent video. And if not, I'm sorry, but still subscribe because better videos will follow suit. The only reason I'm going to really try and get this video out there is because I want to do the Verso giveaway. So yeah, don't forget to comment below. Just comment Verso. Obviously, if you're not an electrician or anything like that, then there's probably no point commenting down below to try and win a consumer unit. What a day. I do apologise. I'm really sorry, but like I said, I'm going to have to... Well, like I was trying to say, but the GoPro just kept going off because it's cold. The battery's cold. How do people go 
snowboarding in the Alps and that and filming it and skydiving with a GoPro. I can't even keep it in my van in Manchester, it's too cold. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, right, so I'm going to post this video. I'm going to do the best I can with trying to put something together for you. And I do apologise. Please don't let it put you off my channel because I don't know how many times I've said this now or how many... Whether because the GoPro kept turning off, so... Comment below, Verso, if you're an electrician and you want to try and win a Verso RCBO consumer unit and all that with surge protection. So just comment that below. If you're not an electrician, it's probably no point because what good to consumer units here. I'll probably try and get some other better giveaways that everyone could get involved in. Um, but I think most people who are watching this channel are, are electricians anyway. You know, trying to learn from the best. Joking. I'm not, I'm not that kind of person. Um... Yeah, and go and subscribe to Verso's YouTube channel. They've got some good plans for that channel coming up in the near future. And follow them on Instagram and all that. Uh, so you can see all their new new products are all pretty good. I changed those six, uh, four fluorescent lights, four six foot LED buttons. Couldn't show you that again because there's just music blaring and everything's just going wrong. Cut my finger, I won't stop bleeding. GoPro kept turning off. Well, I've had an awful day. Well, an awful day for YouTube anyway. And uh, the winner for Verso's gear will be announced in about a week's time. So just to give a few people a chance to comment. See you later on the next one. Peace!